Hi guys, got a request here to make a solar powered boat. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this chap's name. So, um, been off to the charity shops to see if I could find anything that I could use for propellers, because that's the usual problem I have making boats and aeroplanes. And I found this, which is a clockwork driven boat. You pull that to wind it up and then it spins the propeller that's in the back there. So first of all I'll try it out and see if it actually floats and then I'll take it apart and see if I can put an electric motor in there and a solar panel on top. <laughs> Float very well, does it? Let's see what's inside. I'll save this. That's a handy little set of gears and it's also a handy little clockwork motor in effect. It's the same as those little pullback motors you get in some of the small cheap cars. And you can either use that to wind it up or you could attach it to an axle and wind it up that way. But either way there's some useful gears in there, so I'll save that. Don't have much use for the sail and the rigging. I'll save the propeller. But I think what I'll do with the hull is I'll trim this bit off entirely. And then I'll put an electric motor up up here somewhere that goes down at an angle, something like that, with a long shaft on it. So the motor's actually sitting up here somewhere. Shaft goes right down through with the propeller sticking out the back here somewhere. For solar power. I'm going to use one of my solar fluttering butterflies that I've already taken apart. So that's the solar panel and that's the electric motor. I've taken this off one of my solar powered cars. So I'll put a shaft on there to go right down through the boat. should be able to sit on the back. Looks just about the right size. I want to try and increase the stability of the boat a bit because I'm going to be putting some, some weight up relatively high compared to where the boat floats. I want to put some weights in the bottom to make sure it sits nicely. So Instead of just that piece of foam that was in there, I'm going to pack it out with quite a few more bits of foam cut from my polystyrene pizza trays. In fact, this one was a hovercraft that I'm reusing the bits from. I've packed the hull with as much polystyrene foam as I can. And now I've just drilled a hole for the shaft, propeller shaft to go through. I'm going to mount the motor about here somewhere and put a propeller on the back. There's the finished article <laughs> and as you can see I've had to do quite a bit of modification. That boat is just so unstable. I've put four three big nuts on the bottom 
to weigh it down and a couple of bits of polystyrene on either side to balance it, stop it tipping over. So now we've got to figure out a way of um, getting some solar energy to it because the sun's gone. So I think the best thing I can do is fill up a small bowl of water and see if I can shine a bright light on it. Okay, here we go. We've got a bowl of water. We've got the boat. And I've got a bright light. Remember, water and electricity is not a good idea. But uh, let's see what we can do. Well, that seems to work. so you can see. So a solar powered boat. With a fair bit of water inside it. I'm afraid that's the best demonstration I can do because the sun's gone. We've got clouds out there at the moment. Summary time. What have we got? We've got a cheap plastic boat that was, well, sort of clockwork powered, but didn't float. Um, not quite sure what it was supposed to be. I suppose the description covered it as being a water toy. It didn't actually say boat. Um, I filled it with foam to stop it sinking. It was then very unstable so I've got these nuts on the bottom to weigh it down and a couple of polystyrene pontoons on either side to hold it level in the water. Then we've got an electric motor and a solar panel from one of these solar fluttering dragonflies. The propeller came with the boat, which is what caught my eye originally. And we got a little bit of bicycle spoke to extend it through to the motor. And that's it. It works, but the sun's gone in, so we can't go out and show it in the garden.